is our breaking news that's coming in. The police officials and the local administration in Maharashtra's Alibagh area are gearing up for ahead of the landfall. 12,000 people have been evacuated from this area and Section 144 has been imposed here. The cops have also been deployed along the beaches. हर जगह पे बीच पे पुलिस है अभी तैनात जहाँ से लोग हैं 144 के ऑर्डर है कर्फ्यू के तो हर जगह से लोगों को निकाल दिया गया है कहीं पे भी बीच पे या फिर लोकलिटी में भी लोग बाहर नहीं घूमेंगे कल दिन में और रात भर में हमने तब्बल 12,000 लोगों को शिफ्ट किया है जो कंक्रीट रूम से या फिर स्कूल कॉलेजेस वहाँ पर उनको यह क्रिएट किया गया है और एट द सेम टाइम लगभग आठ पुलिस बंदोबस्त लगा हुआ है सिक्स पोस्टल पुलिस स्टेशन में And here's a ground report coming in. Uh, Times Network reported about the lack of evacuation at the Versova Beach in Mumbai. The authorities have now swung into action and reached the beach for evacuation process. Here's a report. Now we can finally see cops uh, coming over here. Evacuation has finally started. Uh, people have been asked to take their valuables and move out of these kacha houses because these are the low-lying areas that will that are at major risk at present. because of the cyclone nisar and yes we can see the the strength of the basically the strength of the waves also has increased a little the wind force has increased a little and now finally the authorities have decided to uh, take a call on the ground and evacuate these uh, these people who are staying in these kacha houses with respect to other precautions that the bmc has made uh, some uh, beds have been kept ready for uh, people who will be affected by the cyclone nisar and some uh, patients who who seek treatment with the covid-19 infection they are also expected to be affected if at all there is very extremely heavy rainfall in the city of mumbai as well so communication from the bmc has been happening notices has been sent to uh, builders who are constructing basically buildings in the city of mumbai telling that then any untoward incident in their building premises they are responsible for that so yes finally some evacuation has been happening on the uh, beaches of the city of mumbai as well but on the other side there are other houses also these are a little uh, strong houses people stay inside and if there is a very big uh, strong wave that comes in their houses will also be inundated so whether these people will also be evacuated or no that remains a big question let me bring in my colleague neha who's joining me live getting us the latest updates at this point neha over to you can you quickly bring us up to speed with the latest updates that you're picking up the path of the cyclone at this point and further measures that have been taken especially in a city like mumbai Absolutely, Apurva. And if we can show our viewers uh, the kind of impact uh, uh, the cyclone has uh, been making. Now, this is a uh, representation, a graphic representation of how close, uh, if you can see, uh, the cyclone Nisarg uh, has uh, reached uh, to the coast of the city. Now, according to the recent bulletin of uh, the Indian Meteorological Department, it is about 165 uh, kilometer, 115 kilometers. I'm sorry, from Ali Bag and uh, Mumbai, it's about 165 kilometers uh, from the south of Mumbai. Now, this. is a uh, much uh, nearer as compared to what the earlier forecast was which was about uh, 190 kilometers so you, we can see the speed at which the cyclone is moving is a very very pretty quick we understand that the imd has already mentioned that thane palghar raigad these will be the areas which will be the most affected and we understand that with every hour uh, it's a it's a strap the kind of impact it is making to the city has also changed but remember apurva as the experts also pointed out it will be the south of uh, mumbai it will be the south of uh, alibag area which is uh, going to see the major impact uh, which means that uh, while the alibag will have its uh, central uh, for the force of uh, cyclone will be central to in alibag the south of mumbai will also face its impact now according to the imd officials and scientists who we are speaking to they say that heavy winds will be uh, witnessed in the city so there will be because the cyclone is coming at a speed of more than 100 km per hour so heavy winds will be witnessed in the city accompanied with heavy rain so definitely uh, according to the authorities the uh, warning that has been issued is that uh, do not uh, step out from your home unless urgent because uh, between 1 pm to 4 pm is when we are expecting the landfall of the cyclone uh, to the south of the city and alibag so heavy rains are definitely 
are going to be accompanied and uh, along with heavy winds. So these precautions uh, must be taken as far as uh, uh, the people are concerned, which is why do not step out un if not necessary. And when you are out, uh, obviously, uh, do not be under the trains or uh, any object uh, that is uh, of temporary nature, which is like will to fall. So these are some of uh, the precautions that have uh, been given by the authorities. But yes, it is the cyclone is moving at a very uh, faster speed and between 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. is when we are expecting its landfall. All right, Neha, many thanks for joining us and giving us all those updates. We'll continue keeping a close watch on all those developments there with regards to Cyclone Nisarg, which is going to make a landfall between 1 to 4 p.m. Several advisories and measures that have been put in place and precautions that people have to take first and foremost, stay indoors, is the important announcement that has come. And we'll continue tracking all those developments. Right now, slipping into a short break, back in just a bit.